Hi everyone, in this video we will learn KNN. KNN means K nearest neighbors algorithm where we have to use this KNN and how we have to run in Python. We would learn in this video. So here is abbreviation as I said KNN stands for K nearest neighbors and it is a supervised machine learning algorithm. I have already explained you in previous video what are the supervised machine learning, what is non-supervised uh, machine learning and here is algorithms and the algorithm can be used to solve both classification and regression problem statements. We can use KNN for to solve both kind of problems classification as well as regression. So the number of the nearest neighbors to be to a new unknown variable that has to be predicted or classified is denoted by the symbol K. So we can see here there is the two types of data is here. One is class A that is in red color and another one is class B that is in the green color. So these are well defined. These are well classified. But let's say one new variable entered in this data set. So this, this particular variable where we have to classify either in the class A or that should be in the class B. We will decide how we have to finalize this thing. So through this this KNN, K nearest neighbor uh, method algorithm that would decide where we have to classify this particular variable. So you can see K3 means three nearest point, three nearest, where is the less number of, I mean, distance is very less. So accordingly, we have to classify our data. So what I will do, let's say now we will run uh, in Python. So I had opened, let me little bit bigger size. So I'm sure that could be, there would be more clarity. So first of all, to run a KNN, uh, we have to open a new file. And I'm going to use, there is an important data set that is income.csv. I will show you what are the columns values in income.csv. So first of all, what we have to do, we are going to import libraries. First, we, I am importing library, uh, this one is the pandas as pd, import numpy as np, import seaborn as sns, and from sklearn.model underscore selection, we are going to import training underscore test underscore split. What it will do, that would divide training and testing data set into two parts. And from sklearn neighbors, we are going to import k neighbors classifier because we want to run KNN. And from sklearn.metrics, import accuracy underscore, under, uh, underscore and as well as confusion under metrics. Because both these things, we want to check accuracy score also, as well as we want to see confusion metrics also. So what we have to do, first of all, I'm, I had imported this data. You can see here data in this particular variable. I had created this variable pd.read underscore csv income.csv. That is the file available in my same directory. I had imported this file and let me see this. What are the values? So I'm using data.hat function and uh, that would reflect upper five rows only rest of the data it would not reflect so we can see here all these five rows are here so now what are the columns let me let me let me just show you a little bit i'm just reducing the size so now i think one in a single sheet you can see here uh, now these are my columns age job type right and marital status, occupation, relationship, race, gender, capital gain, right, capital loss, hours per week, native country, salary, status, right, less than or equal to 50,000, less than or equal to 50,000, right. So we have to do, we will give some coding for this kind of data. So I'm using this here is you can see we want to check any null values if is here data dot is null right this function dot sum so and in fact in my data set there is no null value i mean all the values are filled nothing is missing but if if there is anything missing so i had used this i had created one more new variable missing equal to data data dot is null right and any excess equal to one if it is so that would drop 
right so data 2 data dot i had saved this data now the clean data in data 2 variable data dot d drop and a drop and a x is equal to 0 and here is now my data is clean now there is no right um uh, no i mean uh, null values are missing so what we have to do data 2 here is salary status right what we have to do salary status data 2 here is salary status dot map less than or equal to 50000 there is the two category we have to give them zero value and those are the greater than 50000 right we are giving them value 1 right so we had uh, we have uh, we have done we have saved this value right in data to only salary status so you can see here all these number of the number of the rows these are total number of the rows and we have saved these values 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 means those have salaries less than 50000 we are denoting by 0 and those have values uh, i mean salary greater than 50000 we are denoting 1 so what we have to do, we have created new, uh, there is the new variable, new underscore data and pd dot get dummies, right? Because we had given them, these are the dummies value 0 and 1. So here is all these values would be saved here and column list. And here is, you can see, uh, this is the list new data and all the columns. And then we want to see print these columns. So now you can see these all are the columns names and if we suppose we want to see the features so we can see features list set columns underscore list and set cell salary status right in this particular variable we want to we we, we want to save all other columns except this column right so now we can see what are the features of all these uh, columns right you can see right job type and all these things so now what i have to do y equal to new underscore cell stats dot values so y we can see values of this y column here is zero one zero one means those have the salary greater than zero um, i mean those have values uh, value uh, salary less than fifty thousand that is denoted by zero those have salary greater than uh, fifty thousand that would be denoted by one so x equal to new underscore features dot value. So we can see whether these values has been stored. Yes, very much these are stored. So now what we have to do, let me just a moment, let me insert a new, this thing. Let me insert a new row. We can add it. Um, uh, we can, what we have to do, here is insert cell above. So not here, not not exactly. I don't want this cell here. Let me delete this cell. I want a new cell above this. So what I will do here is I will mark down this. And what I will do here, you can see here is classification classification of data so let me run this now we can see here uh, we had divided i mean training underscore x test underscore x training underscore y test underscore y right we had divided and that is i said ki this data training and testing data should be divided 70 30 percent 70 percent should be training test training data and 30 percent would be testing data if you will you want to reduce as per your choice you can go for 0 0.2 0 0.4 it depends upon you so now knn classifier i'm going to use knn classifier let me right now it's better can in classifier can classifier here is at the five nearest uh, neighbors it will show if i will use three to so that it will show only three right so can in classifier dot fit train underscore x train underscore y and now can in classifier now the prediction is there right so i'm going to use this prediction right after this i'm going to run this right 
and uh, now we can see confusion matrix i had created confusion matrix by by using this confusion matrix is like this 6683 and 653878 and 1380 and i have i will tell you how we have to read this confusion matrix and accuracy score suppose i want to know accuracy rate also so accuracy score is 84% is accurate right that is the classification is accurate that is uh, correct so what we have to do now we will run this and after that, you can see here, I had used this classific misclassified samples is 1531, you can see, right? And matplotlib and all these things, I had used this kind of uh, to read this data, how we have to read this data. Now you can see here, after putting all these commands, you can see all diagonally values, these are correct. That means my model is predicting correct values of these numbers. So you can see diagonally 66,683, this is correct and 1,380, that is correct, right? But those are not fallen in this diagonally. That means zero means we are saying those people have uh, salary less than 50,000, right? This much is the number. And same thing that is predicted by my model, right? Zero, zero. So this much is number. And those have a salary greater than 50,000 and same thing prediction model because you can see x-axis I have taken actual and y-axis on the prediction. What is my model is predicting? So this much is the values that is the correct, right? As per my prediction model. But this value, there is the misclassification. Means actual they are one. That means these people, a salary is greater than one. I mean, greater than 50,000, but my prediction model, it is reflecting their salary is less than 50,000. Same thing is applicable here. My this, These people, number of, these number of people, those salary is less than 50,000, but my prediction model is reflecting these people's salary is greater than 50,000. Right. But here is these people's salary is greater than 50,000, but my model reflecting less than 50,000. So this is the misclassification. So 84%, 84%, that is accuracy rate of my model. And now you can see this is the correct value. This one is the correct value. This is correct value, but 878, this is the misclassification and 653, that is also misclassification. I hope or this model, this Canon model is would be helpful to you. You understand. And I'm sure in the next video, we are going to discuss some more uh, relevant classifications uh, using Python. Thank you. Keep watching.